I'm home caught, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around back when I was What down. what created my James? My father. Wow. Why do you say your father? Uh, my father treated me different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thank him now today. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'd say, it, it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. My father would come and wear my ass out mm -hmm. for no apparent reason. Really? You know what I'm this saying? This your biological father? No. Oh, this your stepfather? Now, there's a story behind okay. this dude. Okay. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. this is my pops. Okay. So he would whoop my ass like just on GP. Mm. And I'm talking about with stitching cords. Mm. I would have webs from here, here to there all yeah. over the place. Um, the worst of the time he come in and came from the motorcycle club, woke me up. He didn't wake me up, just get out, get up. He drug me to his room. It's like three in the three o'clock in the morning sometime mm -hmm. around there and just start beating me with a shoe. Mm. And I didn't get it. I didn't get it until one of my aunties came, Aunt Or came and she stayed there. She was from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And she told him that he was full of shit, whooping on that boy like that. Mm -hmm. So me hearing the conversation, him saying, he ain't my motherfucking son. I was like, whoa. Wow. But then I had to go back and listen to my cousin Chris Day and them saying, Jane Lee ain't your son. Mm. Your daddy is woo de woo. Mm. And then seeing this man, so now I get why he's doing me like this. Damn. But I used to just sit back, man, and just say, ain't nobody ever gonna do me like this. What was your mother's position in, in that? Did she <clears throat> she didn't try to protect you or defuse no. it or why no. do you think that is? Uh she loved him. She didn't want him to leave. Wow. She explained that to me before she passed. Okay. And I accepted, you know. So you was able to reconcile with yeah, your Yeah, we did. Because yeah. I was, I hated her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I turned into this 14-year-old gangbanger. Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. You ain't shit. You ain't whoop, whoop, whoop. Because she never was there for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I see how she was with my brothers and my sisters. She was different with them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They didn't get what I got. Mm. You know, the attack was me. Mm -hmm. You know, both of my brothers, if they went to jail, Pops bailed them out. Mm. My mom's went and got them, Louisiana, uh, wherever they went to jail, mm. put up the house for them. Mm -hmm. Never, not once for me, ever in my life. Wow. You know, uh, he would never take me fishing or do no shit like that. But when my auntie was there, the cat went and bought me a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to do it, but he did it because she she demanded he treat me right. Mm -hmm. She demanded and she she cussed my mother out for allowing a man to come to to love a man more than your kids. Right, right. And and my grandfather said it's natural instincts for a woman to to protect their kids. Right. Tell her, look at how dogs is with they with yeah. they pups. Hell yeah. How bears, bears is yep. with they cubs. Real shit. And I'm like, God damn, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. My moms didn't do that for me. Mm. So I was pretty much on my own. So mm -hmm. I had to figure it out. Okay. So now I'm I'm 14, going on 15. I gotta figure this out. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm back in the neighborhood. I'm hanging out with the homies. Now I got guns. Right. So I'm in the cut. If this dude ever touched me like that again, mm -hmm. I knew what I got to do. Mm -hmm. But then here I am. I'm, and if I kill him, I know I'm going to jail. Yeah. And they might not never let me come home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the fear of killing him was only the fear of going to jail. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, wouldn't fear in that, I'd have killed him. Right. Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.